Those of you who have been following these uh, workshop videos about the Christmas cake platter and the Christmas candy bowl, and of course with the Christmas candy bowl there was the special bowl. Well, you probably guessed that the Christmas cake platter and the special bowl were for mum. Well, I'm now in Kelowna and to greet us at the door is a nice wreath. Everything inside the house is very Christmassy and decorated up and uh, there's little uh, hints of Christmas everywhere. Um, now, mum doesn't have a Christmas tree, but when you're 92, you're not about to go out and chop down a Christmas tree, right? So what mum likes to do is decorate her plants, and it actually looks pretty nice. Even her favorite reading lamp has a string of snowflakes. All over the place, there's nice friendly little reminders that it's Christmas. Mum's Ethereum that she got for her 92nd birthday is normally turned towards the window, but now it's turned towards the living room so everybody can enjoy that beautiful flower. The poinsettia plants have long since lost their real flowers, and Mum spruced the plants up with artificial ones. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Even the clock I made a few years ago, it's been decorated with a Christmas stocking and a string of stars. Now here you see the Christmas cake platter in its new home on Mum's dining room table. And there's a reason why I made this video. And this is going to be of interest to you workshop guys, especially those that were interested in uh, using Envirotex. Now it looks pretty nice sitting there on that solid oak table. And for you woodworking buffs, that's solid oak, that's not veneer. But alas, there's a bit of a fly in the ointment. It looks pretty good sitting there like that. You don't notice the fly, but if you turn it so that the light is just right, or maybe I should say just wrong, then you notice it. And I want to tell you what happened. So what happened was that I had decided that I was going to give it one more coat of varathane all the way around the outside here and under here. And I did. And then I realized, well, I can't set it down to let it dry because it would stick on whatever I set it down on. So I put a little wooden disc underneath there and uh, that's how we got those marks. Now I had only let the uh, Envirotex cure for about oh maybe uh, 48 hours maybe a little longer and I should have probably waited a week or 10 days so uh, just to let you know if you use this stuff make sure that you let the Envirotex completely cure before you put any pressure on it because it will slowly change into the shape of whatever you put on it. You know, I've used this Envirotex before a few times and I've never had this happen. But then on the other hand, I've always waited and let it cure for about a week or so before I put any constant pressure on it. So, it's my fault. It's not the fault of the product, it's the fault of the product E. Is there such a thing as a product E? <laughs>